Let's let's play some magic. This this is a bad deck. I I am preferencing everything that's about to happen by saying this is a bad deck. And let me explain. There are good cards in this deck. There are cards you would play in other decks, but the way I have built it specifically is not an optimal build. I already know that. But I want to see just how inoptimally opti just how poorly I've built it. There we go. Okay, so I put Grumgully in here because none of my creatures are humans and some of my stuff doesn't make Ronus happy, so No, that's a non-creature spell. Get out of here. I got four cocoa. Alright, I should show you the sideboard. <clears throat> That's the sideboard. Uh, so, like, traditional gruel aggro has two things notably that this deck doesn't have. Uh, number one, on the lower end of the scale of importance, is uh, Dahmer's Ambush, which is probably the best removal spell that this deck could possibly play. And number two, on the higher end of the scale in multiple ways, is Embercleave. I did try to fit two Embercleave in here just to like, sha sha sha, but I didn't like the numbers because I have exactly 32 creatures. I guess I could go to 30, but I don't know. What about the 2R dragon that needs artifacts? I know which one you're talking about, but I don't think that one's particularly good in this deck. Nor do I have one. Oh, I crafted a bunch of stuff for this. Where is it? Do I not? Do I have it? Do I not have it? Oh, here it is. It's right here in front of my face. Can't attack unless you control four more in the beginning of your instep created treasure. So, like, it doesn't attack until four turns later. Nah. Let's try my crappy build and see what happens. I don't know what changes I might need, but sure. No, I'm not playing that. Eh, eh, I forgot about that screen. Crap. I'm trying to hide what the second deck is. Come on, Arena. Work with me here. <laughs> I should have put something else as the, the, the box art. I'm not looking to block. Come on. Aggro. It stands for always get going really obstinately. <laughs> uh... Heck yeah. Love this hand. Oh, this is not the card I thought it was. Sure, it's great against Thoughtseize. <laughs> That's why I kept it. It's great against Thoughtseize. Alright, well, I mean, heck. I thought I thought GCG was um, good old what's it called the one mana one one that gets bigger when you play bigger creatures. I thought it was that nerd. I hate Uro's stupid face. Are they just Sultai? Is that what's going on here? They're not like field Sultai, they're like actually Sultai Sultai. Boop. Well, I mean, good enough, I guess. <laughs> I hit a creature, that's all you need.
Okay, they do have feelings. Ah, pelt collector. That's that's the bunny. Uh, huh. So if I play this, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve to put them to one, and then I have stomp. I have two stomps. Yeah, taste it. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, you come out, you come in. I want you, I could do without you. And even though you technically just won the game, I'll cut a couple of you. You know what? You know what I found out yesterday? You know, you know what I found out yesterday? I found out that Henry Rollins is the voice actor of Bob Rainicorn in Adventure Time. I was like, what? That surprised me. That that surprised me. Why I L? Yesterday I learned. Sure. They're a discard deck. This has lands and spells. We get to play Ronus on two and Bone Crusher on three. Start attacking. gust me here we won a game we did in fact win a game this is a thousand percent ether gust but you know it's gonna do what i do I ether gusted this instead of this uh Interesting choice. They don't have any black mana, notably. They could blast zone and kill Land of War Elves and Pelt Collector. Okay, so we're going to have five mana next turn, which is both Bone Crusher and Earthshaker Kinra. How large of a punt is not having an animation for... Oh my gosh, right? The next deck I play... It's going to have a really sweet animation if we can get to it. I promise you that much, friend. You can take that to the bank. Uh, it's not chance for glory. I only have one red mana. Hey, chat, I only have one red mana. I guess we'll just do this then. That is fine. <laughs> did it have Gideon of the Trials in it? Because I assume it did. Perhaps. Arrow in his big dumb face. At least Rune Terror cards have the decency of having a smaller animation the second time around. 
Hey, a second red mana. Oh gosh, this is a combo I didn't even think of. And discontinuity, Pact of Negation, Glory Send. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think, like, when I built this, I didn't even think about escaping Kenra and having Ronus be unlocked because of it. Langouche! No chat. They languished into a into a, an Uro. That could be the GG's. How many cards are in here? Four. Stupid. This has Death Touch. Notably. Lands make two twos and uh, they have three spells in hand. Is that the is that the story they're trying to tell me right now? Maybe I should have. No, never mind. I have double activation anyway. Uh, painfully watching people tap mana. I originally had some deserts in here. Yeah, okay, cool. I got it. I'm dead. <laughs> like, literally casting this any way would have sufficed. I any single way. All right. So we're going to uh, attempt to do something here. <laughs> if I had drawn, oh, I was really hoping it was in the opener. I was gonna say if I had drawn um, the dinosaur, that's what I'm getting at. I think we just go fair here. Instead of ramping, because Scooze is a pretty good. Plus, I have the, the sick alt art. It's going to suck when we miss our third land, but what you going to do? Yep. Well, I mean, like, to be fair, our ramp plan is just, you know, putting large beefers into play. That that can certainly uh, kill the opponent. Yeah, they did show us Disfigure, but there's no fear in my dojo. <clears throat> Q, Disfigure. If they Disfigure after this long pause, okay like come on now there it is yeah, I could have done that man phase but whatever there was nothing in our bin nothing in their bin it's fine you fear the Uro I'm not incredibly worried about Uro we get to hit them for nine next turn because I'm going to make this a 4-4 four, four, so that we'll have two creatures that turn run us on. That's a really... That land was a really good draw because now if they sweep us, we have Collected Company to come back. that 
time I said the thing. Remember that time, chat? Ah! <laughs> That's what the deck is. The deck is built to have that exact Coco. That is exactly what this deck is built to do. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I don't know when my next emote thing is. If I'm honest. No two drop, you say? Well, we're, we'll draw one. We'll draw a two drop. We got one more turn to, to make me a profit. Stone Curl Serpent. Well, okay. I was right. That one can't block. <laughs> we, we found the two drop. Fair. <laughs> Just like we drew it up. Uh, our deck looks uh, pretty bad against what's happening across the board from us at the moment. But we got a Coco next turn? I don't think I can take seven again. It's fine. Ah, it's not fine. They had the skews. They baited me. I, I'm really trusting this Coco to do a thing. Really trusting it to do a thing here. I know I know I had it in hand. I know I could have made a four four. Trust me. I just I wanna do it this way. I hate disposable hero. <laughs> Boy, I would have been so punished. <laughs> I would have been <laughs> incredibly punished. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would have been absolutely punished for for that line. Gosh, they should have attacked. They, they should have 1,000% attacked there. Remember that time you felt a little behind and then suddenly you didn't? I mean, I still feel behind, but... Wouldn't it be funny if they conceded? Wouldn't that be hilarious? Chat. Chat, wouldn't it be hilarious if they conceded? Why? Why? Stop hovering over my cards. Got six mana next turn. <laughs> Attack you should have. Fair in your dojo there is. <laughs> yeah, please eliminate my Ronis. Bring it. Man.
I think I'm just gonna start making four fours, chat. Oh, Clothis. I considered Clothis. I honestly did. But, I don't know. Like, I feel like Clothis sort of fits in this role that Scavenging Ooze is in. Reading Grum Groly, reading Gruel Spellbreaker. Yeah, I could see cutting to Grum Goalie for, for Clothis. She is she's quite large. Yeah, so uh what you do is you cast this and then in response to this trigger, you fire this off. So you make it a four four and then the counter gets put on and it's a five five. Or is there no trigger? Where is a trigger, right? Like, I know it doesn't target, but there's still a trigger. Let's... Let's find out together, shall we? Ah, uh, no, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Yep. It's fine. Everything is fine. I get to draw a card. Chat. Chat, calm down. I get to draw a card. <laughs> I know it's it's technically worse in this deck because it means Ronas can't do a thing, but we take it here. Like it's a two mana three three that draws another two mana three three. <laughs> sure. You've killed Grumgully. Sure. All right, so we get to Coco. We'll do it now. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Yes, 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 discard Kinra, do it. Oh wait, they can exile it with this. Don't do it. I changed my mind, don't do it. Rats, that's not a line. Rats, they saw the line. I, yeah, I guess, right? Like, we just bottomed a bunch of lands. Oh, it's random? No, it's any order. So what if I shuffled? Huh. Now, it's not even Scry 6, because I would have kept the Collected Company to go again. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Infinite 4-4s. Four Let's just say you misclicked. <laughs> Play my tap land. So, this is what you would say is exactly why you play um, Embercleave in these style decks. Just like, if those collected companies were Embercleaves, we probably would have won already. Yeah, or a hoof, I guess. I feel like I should play this out just because they're a Thoughtseize deck. It's not like I can draw another one anyway. Eventually my board will just be large enough that I can attack and it won't matter. Do they have creatures? No. Do I have creatures? No. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, Sarkins and Ceiling did well in two straight tournaments. I guess I can swing with crabs because, like, if they block here, I have Ronis to, to kill it. This isn't sorcery speed, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess Bone Crusher Giant's also a good attack. Yeah, it's fine. Yes. Why would they cast that one down? Why would they not cast the one I spent mana on down, I wonder? Oh, now this gets bigger? Oh, the synergy chat. The synergy. Yeah, they want big skews. But like, I have Ronis, so I don't care about big skews. They get a very big skews. I don't have any way to kill that scavenging ooze in my 75 at all. Yeah, it has Hexproof, so that's pretty smart. Fart noise! Uh, land is fine because that means I have three activations of Ronus now between, no, wait, one, two, three, one, right? Yeah. Four, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, cool. Yeah, right? I'm like, I'm listening. Ten four. Also grows this some more. Okay. Never mind on the growing the thing. I'm running out of uh, four powered. Eh, I guess not really because I have Ronus. Ro Ronus makes four powered things all on its own. Curious. 21, 32, 24. I'm up three minutes, chat. I am up three minutes. Oh, boy. 
anyway. Uh, killing this doesn't seem very smart because they have this. But if they have a 13, 13, and they're at 17 life, uh, 19 life, yeah, I don't. I don't think that's good either. Well, look, flying in general would be pretty good here. Maybe eating my company. I had no use for it anyway. We bought him the company earlier, but then we shuffled. Land, three, six. I'm just waiting to draw Embercleave. <laughs> I'm not sure. My out is my opponent concedes from boredom. Or I draw a company and we have a really good company and can swing around these. Swinging with Ronus is a thought. I think we have to be swinging with Ronus. Uh, yeah, everyone seems to agree. Okay. We'll start swinging with Ronus. Well, notably, that doesn't go into their graveyard. So they can't get it with Scoos. Gosh, we've been at seven life for forever. Chupacabra. The problem is I'm at seven life, and this is a large trampling lad. So, yeah, I was thinking that, like, no. All right, so if we do this, that's seven. Then we can pump one of them. That's nine. Eh, it's fine. Yeah. Float mana. Hi, yes, in response, I would like to float mana. Oh, magic players. Always floating inanimate objects. Would like to buy a collected company. Like, thankfully, Scavenging Ooze doesn't have Trample, so we can just, like, chump it with a, a Land of War Elves. Okay, Castle is a card. They have bought another turn.
four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can pump a lot. I can pump four times for eight extra damage, but they're at eighteen. Basically, I'm trying to figure out if I can swing and then with how few blockers they have, I can pump an unblocked thing and kill them. But I don't know that I'm there yet. Oh, it's, it's that time, right. Gosh, if Ronas could... could uh target himself. This game would be so over. Fact. Questers. Oh, I should have pumped before then. Crap. Yeah, I'm going to pump before damage so that this grows. I should have pumped a Llanowar Elf, though, instead. I wasn't fully thinking that one through. All right. Definitely got him on the ropes, question mark? <laughs> Who would win? Ronus the Indomitable, literally a snake god with death touch and indestructible, or one scoozy boy? Where's our legion's end, right? Ah, uh, no, two scoozy boys. Hexproof from black. Notably not protection from black. Oh, uh, boy. to third. I am losing the card race. But still up a couple of minutes on clock. This is game one in an aggro mirror. For those who were wondering. Ah, that might be game. That might actually end the game. Uh, Pelt's Collector. They don't have any creatures. They can only block two things. I don't I don't know if it's that simple. Three, six, nine. So we can pump three times. I don't know if it's that simple. I'm getting to the point. 
Uh, so what do they... If they block the biggest things, right? They block this and this. That's 2, 3, 4, 9, 13. Two, three, four, five, or two, three, four, eight, twelve, and then two more pumps. Well, too late. We're dedicated. We're dedicated. Dedicated downright. Oh, oh no. We have three pumps. We have three pumps. <laughs> if this isn't a removal spell. Pray for land, chat. Pray for land. Yep. Ten. There's still seventeen coming through. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Counting is, is fantastic. Uh, I kind of want to cut Land of War Elves because I feel like it just dies in this matchup and then fuels their thing. You came in to see the tail end of the longest game one of an aggro match I've ever played. Garrick's Harbinger still seems good. I think I cut a land on the draw. Cut five mana sources. No, that doesn't sound right. Maybe I don't want to go so heavy on Scoos. Just bring in two. Yeah, that game was long. That game was definitely long. How much time do you start with... Uh, let's see, two lands, a two drop, a three drop, Ronis. Yeah. Because let's see, they have fifth. They have sixteen minutes. I have seventeen and a half minutes. Gosh, they even have this nerd. Uh, it's probably a sideboard card, huh? You tilt for an entire week. Scoos. Just remember, chat. You scoos, you lose. They have more removal than us. My scoos looks better than your scoos. Love struck beast. All right. Um, Ronus the Indomitable. And then we get to go land into a 4-4 questing beast. This is very similar to how last game started. Where we kind of just got pummeled for a little bit. And then we were like, please hold. I think I'm going to leave the green up here. As much as I would like to have played that. Yeah, yeah, Riding Registor, yeah, yeah, yeah. 5-5, five, five, Death Touch, Indestructible, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh, Ronus is just this brick wall, huh?
Ah ha ha. Oh, I can't. Notably can't play multiple green spells here. Uh, yeah. Let, let's compare our three mana five five, shall we? I only have one green mana and they have four, but... fine it's fine uh, block your big stupid block your medium stupid wait hold on I did the thing again. I should have pumped Scoos before blocks so that I could block here. I think I just need to clean up their board a little bit. five mana, so I'm just going to play GCG. And this sets me up to either get a second one or to pump the skews so that Ronus can block. Oh, I hit the mic. I'm sorry. Yeah, they have infinite green mana, so I'm just going to let them have this. Also doesn't help that uh, if I go to, to fight with the Scoos, I don't get to, to block with Ronus anymore. Always a strong play, leading on Land War Elves. One card in hand. It's not the removal, I hope. They had a second scavenging ooze. all their green mana while I'm tapped out of green mana. Third green mana, you say? It's fine. It's fine. I should have played this, but it's fine. A third scavenging ooze. Gosh, then playing this pre-combat means I know I'm safe to, to get my other GCG. My last GCG. This match is like a clear example of why Embercleave is so good, though. A 
Although I do like the beefier boys that I've I've put in this list that'll uh that are still pretty good with uh Embercleave. My turn. Land. For seven mana. Less than 12 minutes remaining. We have just under 14. Uh, any reason to play this? Eh, just to have a body out. Just to have a body out. Yeah, this is uh, this has been intense. Questor City. Okay. Yes, I do remember when GCG was a standard powerhouse. I loved that standard format. If we draw a dino, I'm going to start attacking. With Bronus, at least. Yeah. Stone Coil Serpent is large. There are no creatures left, right? Right. I'm gonna take this just so I can stop looking at it. <laughs> I just, I just want to stop looking at it. You won't spit on my grave. It's a cat. Eleven minutes. I haven't hit twelve yet. Another love struck beast, you say. Four I have what, two activations? That's not a good idea. They have an eight eight. I guess it would trade. Right. Oh, they do have Ronus. They have Ronus of their own. Well, heck. Oh, you feel so far away, cat. What the hell? There you go. I can reach you. I am definitely in uh, the mode of just let them do their stuff. Oh, okay, bye. Bye forever. Take your time. I mean, I win by them timing out either between this game or the next. I I don't think he cares. Let me just uh let me just say that much. I do not think he cares. Stupid thing has trample. These stupid things don't have trample. Although they can be given trample.
I'd kill the serpent with Ronis. That's actually probably a good idea. Oh, I could double block in this game. Lol. Busted. <laughs> Coming from Rune Terror, like, okay, these are my one to one blocks. I triple block for some reason, because I'm dumb. I do have pumps. Oh, this has death touch. Right. Am I dead? Let's find out. Presumably they did the math. Yep, I am a I am I am dead. Alright, well they're at 958 and our matches where's my Oracle Eye, right? Our matches aren't uh aren't what I would call short. Do I just want to braid here? Nah, I'll run it back. Maybe we'll actually get an aggressive draw and, and really get him. We're on the play. I can I can hear you scratching. Why don't you just get in here? This figure. Please, please play scavenging ooze. Please play, play scavenging ooze. Please play scavenging ooze. Do it. Play the scoos. Yes! Taste it. like to buy a land would like to buy a land how about another doo doo in this account right <laughs> That's that's a really good one. Land? Land? Not that it matters, but land? If I triple block, I'm left with one nerd. And then I draw a land and make a 4-4. Four -four. And this is a 3-3, three, three, and they can trade for that. Oh, I'm left with two nerds. I know how to math. I know how to do math. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Just, just literally needed a third land, and this game was over. But, you know. Maybe he rents one. Oh! Well, now they can give it trample. Because, you know, why not? Oh, Maelstrom Pulse, too. Mr. Punker or... <laughs> hey, look what I found! Oh, Lord. Uh, none of those. Mr. Dr. Punker is fine. I know oh there's actually someone whose username is Dr. Mr. Punny. So you can, you, Dr. Mr. Punker's pretty good. All right, let's see if I can do the speed run to uh, oh, 40 gems. Ooh. Wait, was that an M21? I'm finally getting, I didn't think I had all those. Uh, let's see, I want to get to the deck without showing off too much of what the next deck is. Okay, I think I did it. It was there for a brief moment, but I think I did it. Uh, what's what's that card's name? Clothes.
All right, we did it. Well, that's not what we're playing, so you didn't see it. Ha <laughs> ha! It is not four colors. You probably saw Treasure Flare, honestly. Wrong again, nerd. It's six colors. Yeah, it's pur purple. I put, I put basic waste in that de deck. That's a color, right? Hey, uh, is colorless a color? Asking for a friend. Good night. I just realized how bad this hand is. It's okay though, we're just getting absolutely annihilated regardless. Protecting that one, you say. Just gonna kill this one then. How do you wake up dead? <laughs> it's like, is colorless a color? Think about the words that just came out of your mouth. Embercleave? Sure. Magic hates me. Won't let me draw lands to play my crappy deck. Try hard enough. Do I just I'm just gonna borrow charm then? Oh my god. When my opponent draws all their Earthshaker Kinras, I lose, but when I draw them, it's bad. Have us dead in two, unless that's an Ember Cleave in their hand. Dead next turn. Can't play multiple blockers. Ah, we, drew a, we drew a land, chat. We drew a land, chat. Still dead. Uh, let's see if he stays this time. Um, just gonna bring in a braid here. A braid and that other card that I brought in that I already forgot. Thrashing Bronzodon, sort of double duty, but. Uh... Okay, bye. That is so rude. <laughs> Okay. Riddle, come back. We have so many points. Look, if you keep a hand with, with five lands in it, you'll never not draw land. Or you'll never draw land again, right? That's how that works? So far, yes. I'm just going to put a bunch of four power stuff in play and hope it's good enough. Well, heck. 
I, I think we found the answer to, is it good enough? <laughs> Reads Ronas the Indomitable, looks at Adanto Vanguard. Tajik. Okay. Tajik a knight or a soldier? A soldier, as I suspected. Built a wall. Really. My wall was not so good, chat. <laughs> is in fact a cat. Thalia Guardian of Thraben is a really interesting choice against the clearly gruel creature deck. I mean, like, it doesn't matter because I'm dead, but, you know. We're going to talk about interesting choices. She can't block. Not attacking, but she can't block. And Embercleave. Well, Embercleave is bad Italian play? I don't know. On Crap Crasher. On Crap Crasher. Exert on Ronis is definitely a choice. Does that mean we're dead? Do I have blocks? No, I don't have blocks. I don't have blocks. Feeling a bit like the magic's beating us here in the last two, two matches. I mean, their deck was just super aggressive compared to ours. But, you know, first game, literally couldn't draw a spell to save my life, or a land to save my life. Who's ready for next Wednesday when we get new Rune Terror cards, huh? That'll be fun. Can't even win a die roll? Jeez. Alright. Well, we have dinosaurs. So there's that. You know, in our sideboard. Yep. Yep. Yeah, let's just go to sideboard games where I have poor dinosaurs. <laughs> So, sounds like a plan. Yes. I would like to draw a land please. I have tw I'm not even being greedy. There are 24 lands in this aggro deck. I'd like to draw a stomp. Please. Oh. Land. Land. Land? I hate magic sometimes. Uh, this is going to be a 4-4, four, four, then I don't have anything that really blocks it, and it's just annoying, and I hate it. Alright, I'm off this deck. Let's play a worse deck. 
I want to see if I can still do it. All right. Uh, so the the exercise here was to see if switching from Embercleave to collect a company was a good idea. It's clearly not a good idea. Oh, you've ruined it. Um, just play Embercleave. Like, collect a company's good. Maybe, like, you could side this in. I don't know. No, I just, just... Just play the good card. And, you know, when you play Embercleave, you can cut odd cards like this and this and then put in Questing Beast. So, like, I don't, I don't hate this. I meant to put four Ember Cleave in here. And then you can... Um... Put a couple of Domri's Ambush in here now. And then fill out two other spots of your favorite whatever. Main deck Skoo, sure. Just like... Whatever you want to do. You can fix the sideboard to look more coherent. Probably play something like this if I was going to play Gruel Aggro seriously. And then like... You might actually win games this way. I so for the record though, Ronus was amazing. Ronus was a house. Uh, we didn't really get to do a whole lot with the Earthshaker, but that was more matchup things. And this card is just good in general. And yeah, there were board star stalls where it's like, well, if we had Embercleave, we could win here. But elsewise, we have to sort of cobble together some absurd way to win. So, and not having Dombers ambush felt like a miss. Anyway. Let's move on to 